praise the Lord, my Lord, the mightiest, mightiest prophets of the Lord. Well, uh, blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken. The Lord Jehovah has spoken this past night. And in this conversation that the Lord Jehovah has spoken, Jehovah has spoken about the judgment of the Lord that is coming to the United States of America. This is a non-stop, continuous, relentless mm -hmm. conversation that the Lord Almighty has now engaged in for some time. Again, warning the nation of the United States of America to repent and turn away from sin, the sexual sin that is there, the homosexuality, homosexuality that is legalized across many, many of the states of that nation, and the fallen apostate church that is destroying the house of the Lord globally, destroying the body of Christ with their falsehood, their false prophets, their false apostles, their false gospel of prosperity. And this night, the Lord God Almighty, God the Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, he came to speak with me about the judgment of the Lord, his judgment, the judgment of God Almighty that is coming to the USA. And in this conversation, in the dream at night, the Lord Almighty asked me to turn my face to face the nation of the United States of America, the USA, in the same way in which, after speaking to Abraham, the Lord Almighty turned his face towards Sodom and Gomorrah. That is the same exact way that he asked me this night in the dream to turn my face towards the nation of the United States of America. And in turning my face towards USA, the Lord turned my face and I faced Washington, D.C., their capital city. And at that time, the Lord Almighty commanded me to strike the nation of the United States of America with the judgment of the Lord. He commanded me to command them to repent and turn away from sin. And in the event that they failed, then the Lord Almighty commanded me to lift up my left prophetic finger and now point at the USA as I am facing the USA, the capital city, Washington, D.C., District of Columbia. And so in this dream at night, when I turned my face towards the USA and the Lord made my face turn towards Washington, D.C., Washington, District of Columbia, the capital city of the United States of America. And when I commanded them to repent and turn away from homosexuality, sexual sin, abortion, immorality, pastors running around with girls, people just living as free spirits, men and women living without marriage, and the decay and the rot that is in the church in the USA that they are exporting to the world through their so-called Global Christian TV. When they refused to repent, then I lifted up my left prophetic finger and pointed at USA, and the massive earthquake hit the capital city of USA. A massive earthquake hit the, United, the nation of the United States of America, and in this case, my eyes, the Lord had turned my eyes to face the capital city, Washington, D.C. And at that moment, a massive earthquake struck them according to the words of my tongue. And this time I see the capital building is the one that was demolished. And I see the dome broken into half. The right hand side, the right hand side, the dome, the huge dome that covers the Capitol building, Capitol Hill, I saw that the earthquake demolished half of it. 
the part that is on my side. Yesterday, the Lord spoke the same judgment on USA, but this time around, it was the Washington Cathedral, the National Cathedral. Again, as I faced the Washington, D.C., their capital city, the, the cathedral was demolished. Again, my right-hand side, as I faced, is the one that first got demolished of the cathedral, their national cathedral. These are their national monuments. These are their most important national structures. The other day, when I again faced, the Lord commanded me in the dream to face the USA and command them to repent in the failure to which he struck them with an earthquake. According to the words of my tongue, it was the Washington Monument that tumbled down, but instead it fell on my left side, my left hand side, broken into pieces. God is asking the USA to repent. The Lord has now turned his attention finally to the nation of the United States of America. And the Lord has commanded them to repent. He has not requested them. He has not pleaded with them. Some time back, I gave them a four-hour notice of repentance as the Lord commanded me. And after four hours, that earthquake took place and shook the entire USA. And people ran away from tall buildings in New York, in Washington. The Washington Mall was shaken. The cathedral was demolished a bit, the National Cathedral. But now the Lord has spoken relentlessly, day after day, including tonight, that the USA must now repent. The Messiah is coming. They must now submit to the voice of the prophet of the book of Malachi, promised in the Bible, who would come and restore all things. The Lord is using this to establish to you that the prophet he promised in the book of Malachi that would come and restore all things, call the nations to repentance, and judge the unrepentant nations. He is back. The Lord is using this to introduce him to the nations of the earth. The book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter four is chapter one verse four it says, Woe to the sinful nation, a people whose guilt is great, a brood of evildoers, children given to corruption. They have forsaken the Lord. They have spanned the Holy One of Israel and turned their backs on him. The Lord is calling the USA to repentance. The book of Isaiah, chapter 2, verse 10, 11, it says, Go into the rocks and hide in the ground from the fearful presence of the Lord. The splendor of his majesty the eyes of the arrogant will be humbled and the human pride brought low. The Lord alone will be exalted in that day. Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 7. At any time, I announce that a nation or a kingdom is to be uprooted, torn down, and destroyed. And if that nation I want repents of its evil, then I will relent and not inflict on it the disaster I had planned. Again, Jeremiah 18, 7 and 8. It says, if at any time I announce that a nation or a kingdom is to be uprooted, torn down and destroyed. And if that nation I want repents of its evil and sin and wickedness and disobedience and rebellion and apostasy, if it repents of all of the above, then I, the Lord, will relent and not 
inflict on it the disaster I had planned. The Lord has said this word. The Lord has spoken this word. The judgment of God is coming upon the USA. And the Lord has turned my face in the dream. The wrath of God that I behold, he has turned it this night in the dream to face Washington, D.C. and the nation of USA. And I saw that they failed to repent, and the Lord used my words and struck them very severely with an earthquake. And I saw the Capitol Hill, the dome, the dome broken, on my right hand side broken half, it collapsed. The Messiah is coming. This is he about whom it was said, and I will send you my messenger ahead of you to prepare you away before the dreadful and great day of the Lord arrives. The Messiah is coming. This is the voice of he that is calling out in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wilderness a highway for our God. Amend your ways. Be right with the Lord. The Messiah is coming. The kingdom of God is near. Thank you. Todaraba.